Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to Space Chick Crypto. I'm excited to tell you 10 more things did you know about Vault Inu? Sitting at the number 10 spot, did you know that Elon Goat Token, this project right here traveled all across the nation, but do you see this? This is a Vault Inu dog. Valtoshi did not pass up on an opportunity to show off a Vault dog right here. It traveled right alongside with this Elon Goat Token monument, which was featured all across the news media, all across the nation. It made big waves and I was actually there to see it, well, delivered but not delivered. They were not able to deliver the monument to Elon Musk. He did not come out and receive the monument, but it did travel all across the nation, like I said, and received so much news media. There was a lot of interaction with this delivery right here. It was a lot of fun going and checking it out, hanging out with the Elon Goat token. Here's a really good close-up of what it looked like outside of the Tesla factory. Have to show y'all exactly what it looked like. Super cool, interesting. Oh my goodness. This definitely got tons of attention. Number nine, did you know on the Vault Inu Reddit page, there is a sneak peek of what it's going to look like playing with other projects in the VDSC game. Now, of course, this was back in the day. Go do your own research. So, of course, it has changed, but let's take a look at what it might look like to be shooting our friends of NFT projects out there in the space. Uh, don't forget we have a Vault Inu share space where we invite NFT projects, gaming projects, and also crypto projects every Wednesday. But right there, Monks is the one that we see an example of. That looks really cool. And like I said, you can check it out on Reddit. And also go give Monks of Crypto a follow as well. Vault Inu has been advertised globally Here's an example of Vault Inu advertisement on a bus in Germany. They have also been on electronic billboards with their utilities being showcased and the NFT collection. Go check it out. Go check out all the links in the description box below. Did you know that on the Telegram trading bot SparkBot, you can Spark Transfer? Now, it is a function that you can automatically transfer proceeds of all your transactions to an external wallet. So it's really cool that you can buy your favorite project on Volti Change, help burn the supply, and spark transfer to any wallet you want. I mean, if you think about it, you can just transfer it to your cold storage. Do all your trading in here. With the VDSC Battle Royale style game, which you can play on Windows and MacBook, you can play as your NFT, just connect your wallet. But this game right here already had a tournament where you could win $10,000. The first prize winner received $5,000, second $3,000, and the third place winner received $2,000. Now, this was really a cool and interesting tournament because it incorporated cryptocurrency. Now, this is the first game on Steam that is integrated with playable characters from an NFT collection, which is really awesome. This is a win-win for cryptocurrency, but they had to run around, the players had to run around and find a seed phrase for a wallet containing the prize money. It was really cool. They plan on having more and they always have tournaments going on uh, with the Vault Army members, always putting them on even themselves because this game is so much fun. Speaking of the VDSC collection, these playable characters that were integrated with Chainlink upon launch are a deflationary NFT collection. And just to let you know how deflationary they are, incorporated with their Vaulty Eco, you will no longer have to worry about a whale having to come and sweep the floor with their mighty broom because with the Vaulty Eco, there are buybacks and burns, 10% of the VDSC buybacks and burns. Check it out on page four of the Vaulty Eco white paper. 
sitting on the number four spot, we have Vault Inu Sports partnerships with so many UFC champions. As you see Gilbert Burns, and you can also see Jocelyn Edwards. Oh my goodness, so many sports partnerships. There's so many AMAs with Ladybug Crypto Lounge with Mr. Big Cat and Gilbert Burns himself, along with Ian Heinish. And also check out Crypto Latina. She has also done AMAs with other athletes that have been sponsored by Vault Inu. Number three, did you know that Vault Inu has an NFT vault? Just to let you know, the Vault Army loves this project so much that a lot of the members have actually donated some of their NFTs that they buy out there in the NFT space and transfer them on over to the NFT vault. There's over 460 in this collection, but do your own research, check them out and, you know, see what NFTs they have in their vault. Do you think that any of them are worth anything? I do. There's many lazy lions in there. You also have doogies in here. You have shiboshis in here. Also, so many different ones. Please go do your own research and check them out. On the number two spot, we have Vault Inu sponsoring Chainlink SmartCon 2022. You can see that Voltoshi never skipped an opportunity to market this project. Now, if you held a VDSC NFT at that time, you were able to get free admission to this Chainlink SmartCon event and also received another VDSC NFT. And on top of that, we're able to take part and participate in a rooftop one-time experience checking out all of downtown New York with food and drinks and being able to meet other people from the Vault Army and the crypto and NFT space. And last but certainly not least, did you know that Vaultoshi put out in the year of 2022? a secret roadmap. Now, has all of this been completed on the roadmap? I don't know, but he put this out there in the Telegram. Do you think he completed all of these things on his list? Or do you think he still has some more to go? All right, everybody, thanks so much for tuning in to Space Chick Crypto. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe, share this video, and I will talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.